Yo, what's up guys? We're back at it again. Today we're building a $900 gaming PC. How we're gonna do things, first, we're gonna go over the parts, all their prices. Second, we're gonna be building the PC time-lapse style, not a full guide, but the next video after this one will be a full guide, and it's gonna be using the same graphics card and CPU that we're using in this build, so stay tuned for that. And then last, we're gonna be playing games. The processor we went with is the Ryzen 5 2600. I went with this processor because of, well, you guys. As far as the best-selling CPUs on Amazon, this guy comes in third. So yeah, a lot of people are buying this. It's a really popular CPU. I'm interested to see what it could do. The motherboard I'm pairing it with, so this is the more top of the line chipset, not the budget B450 one, but because it's the X470 chipset, they usually come with more USB ports and other ports compared to the B450 budget motherboards. Our motherboard does have four RAM slots, so for future upgradability, very convenient. This motherboard will support plenty of drives, no shortage of that. So two SSDs right here, and then we have a total of six SATA ports. I've seen this on a couple motherboards where we have two USB 3.0 ports. So there's one right here, and then there's one right here also, but I've never seen a case on the market that uses dual USB 3.0 ports. Maybe they exist, but I haven't come across one yet. And yes, guys, as you guys can see right here on the motherboard, it says down here, AMD Ryzen Desktop 2000 Series ready. So yeah, no need to to do any BIOS updates. Even though I still am gonna be updating the BIOS though, if it isn't updated to the latest version already. So if you take a look, we have quite a bit of USB ports, eight in total, and we also have an optical audio port. That's always cool, so you could just hook up a mix amp directly to your motherboard. Our theme of this build is gonna be a blue colorway. I was really excited when I found out that they were releasing new Funko Pops because of the Venom movie, but it's pretty unique because it's a lot of different Marvel characters and they've been Venomized. So if you were to do your research, there's actually a comic book about, well, a Captain America that's been Venomized. Anyway, Anyways, they look pretty cool. I really like the detail on them. We're gonna be sticking this guy in there. So we're gonna save our graphics cards for last because that's the best part. But moving on to our RAM, again with the Ballistic Sport, two sticks of four gigs, eight gigabytes. We went with the white color. It also comes in red and gray, but white I feel would match our theme better. It's, it's gonna match the white on Captain America. And for our storage, same thing as the last build. Once again, I went with a two terabyte hard drive and a 128 gigabyte SSD. Windows 10 is gonna be installed on our SSD so our computer could boot up quicker. All our games are gonna be installed on our two terabyte hard drive because games are huge nowadays. There isn't many blue PC cases out on the market. Very few. This one is by Fractal Design. It's called the Focus G. That's pretty much why I went with that case. I went with a 600 watt bronze rated power supply by EVGA. So we went with 600 watts, which is fine. It's not overkill at all. So I'm not sure what vinyl wrap I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna be using it to wrap the side of the power supply so it can match our build a lot better. It adds a lot of points in the aesthetics department. And then of course, I'm gonna wrap the drives. I don't know, which one would you guys have went with? The one on the left is fake carbon fiber vinyl wrap, which I usually go with. But yeah, I'm curious to see which one you guys would have went with. Now, before we move on to our graphics card, I wanna cover the extras. The extras list is pretty much parts we're gonna be using in this PC build, but they weren't counted towards the $900 budget, which is why I call them the extras list. So the first extra is RGB LED strips. I have three right here. We're gonna be putting them all around the case so it's gonna light up the inside of our case so we'll be able to see our components and whatnot and you can switch the colors and everything too. So we may or may not use these but this is pretty much just a fan extension cable. If I don't use these fan extension cables or fan splitters, then I won't link them down in the video description. But if I do end up using them in this build, I'll link them down in the video description. So that's how you guys will know. Anyways, these are part of the extras. I'll put those to the side. Now, our last part is our graphics card. So we paid a lot more than we should have paid for this. This one was was $300 and why did I pick it because well this is blue a lot of graphics cards on blue definitely not any GeForce GTX cards I've never seen blue ones I don't know if they ever made some in the past but yeah this is a special edition 8 gigabytes RX 580 let's open it and it's it's been quite a while since I did an AMD build too guys it's been too long here it is what do we get well you guys already know I always discard these because the drivers are most likely outdated so always go online to the manufacturer's website to download the most up-to-date drivers, but here it is. These light up, by the way, these are LEDs in here. That's pretty cool, right? It's a simple design. This definitely matches our case. And this backplate adds a little more style too. It would have been awesome if this was white, so it would have matched our Funko Pop like completely, but this color will also work. It looks like it has a pretty beefy heatsink. Cooling should be good. So yeah, our Funko Pop is definitely, the shade of blue is a lot darker. The case is also a little darker, but they match. As far as the ports that we get on this graphics card, we get two HDMI ports, two two display ports and one DVI port. So that concludes our parts overview. Let's build this thing. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, 
collab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hate. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and days. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it. On record off record. I let them take advantage. I was wallet on so record. Finish, guys. record deals. Tell Five them talk to college for the quote. On record off record. I still want the act, not the go. Running through it with the young influence. Oh, and the lesson rushes us. This guy's already turned my way in. Oh, Caviar, watch out, bro. Cool, thank you so much. Yes. Clear is it clear? Alright guys, so we're playing a newly released Shadow of the Tomb Raider, playing on the high settings preset. The FPS is above 60, so I'm pleased with that. Check out the water pump right now. Okay, let's make sure everything's cohesive. I promise. No, 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 no! We have to get to the hidden city before Trinity. We have to find the silver box. Okay, but first, we're gonna help these people get to safety, and then we'll go after the box. No, no one is safe! Not if he gets the box first! I have to go, I'm the only one! You're the only one that can what? You don't know that you caused all this, Lara! Not everything is about you! These people need us here. We can do good now! Besides, what do we got to go on? A riddle? We're going to need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. I like the soundtrack to this video game. You know what would be cool? Playing this game on an RTX 2080 I'm going to help these people. Yep.
Whoa, that's a lot of people. <laughs> that's half the lobby. All right, maybe not half the lobby, but one fourth of the lobby. If you guys are curious as to what setting I was playing Fortnite on, it was on the high settings preset. If you guys want to be alerted for when I post future TC builds, just turn on bell notifications. Anyways guys, thanks for watching till the end. Peace. <laughs>